How's it going guys? Cheesy Cats here. Today we're going to be looking at Card Captor Sakura Clear Card JP version. The Japanese version of Sakura comes out next week on August 23rd, but we've already known the full contents of the set for two weeks now since Bushiroad hosted a pre-release test session at a few card shops in Japan. At these sessions, Bushiroad brought a display board with them that had all of the cards in the set. So uh, a couple people took pictures of the display boards and posted those pictures on Twitter. So we've had knowledge about the effects of the entire set, minus the box topper promos, which we still don't know yet. So since we know the effects of the entire main set, today we're going to be looking at how the set works and some of the options that we have to play. Starting with the set breakdown, we have 25 yellow, 27 green, 22 red, and 26 blue. As for the traits, the main trait of the set is Clear Card Hen, which I will simply be referring to as Clear Card for the remainder of the video. And some of the other less important traits in the set include Magic, Camera, Glasses, Book, Clock, and Martial Arts. One of the centerpieces of the JP Sakura deck is the use of the event card Secure. All four of these events you see on screen are different versions of the Secure event. All of them require having Sakura on stage in order to use them, but each does a very different thing. The yellow version is a 1-1 event. When you use it, search your deck for a clear card character, add it to hand, and give one of your characters plus 1000 power and twin drive until the end of the opponent's next turn. The green version is a 1-0 counter, which gives 500 times the number of stock you have until end of turn. The red version is the simplest of the four. It's a 1-0 event that lets you draw one card. And finally, the blue version is a 2-2. Search your deck for up to two clear card characters and give one of your characters plus 2,000 power until the end of the turn. The secure events are a bit boring on their own, but are used in Sakura decks to enable certain cards to activate their abilities or gain power. The top four cards more or less rely on Secure in order to be usable, while the bottom two are playable on their own but become much better if you run Secure. First, let's take a look at the four cards on top. This 0-0 Sakura has an ability similar to Yunyun from Konosuba. Act ability, Resonance, pay one, reveal Secure in hand, and rest herself to look at up to three cards from the top of your deck and grab a clear card character from among them and add it to hand, then send the rest to the waiting room. Unlike Union, this card doesn't let you look at a fourth card, making it a bit weaker. Also unlike Union, she cannot grab the secure events herself like Union can with her on play ability, making it more difficult to resonate early. Next we move on to these two level 1 combos, which both gain power when you are using secure in your deck. The blue 1-0 Sakura gains 3000 at the start of either player's attack phase, as long as you have secure in waiting room while the red 1-0 Sakura gains 3,000 through the opponent's turn if you use its resonance ability at the start of your climax phase and reveal a secure in hand. Neither of these two technically require secure to function, but if you really want to play these cards as like 1-0-3k or 1-0-3.5k climax combos, especially with the red Sakura being on reverse, be my guest. Finally, we have the 3-2 Sakura. Her climax combo is a burn ability, which deals damage equal to the number of secure that you have in waiting room. Since you can discard a secure as part of the cost of her ability, she can modulate her damage based on how much damage you need, similar to 3-2 Kasumi from Bang Dream Girls Band Party 1. Next, let's take a look at the two cards that don't necessarily need secure in your deck, but benefit greatly from having them. First, we have the Clean Cut. For those of you who aren't familiar with the term, Clean Cut refers to a character that has the ability, when this card's battle opponent is reversed, choose one of your other characters, rest it, and move it to an empty slot in your back row. This is typically used in the early to mid game, allowing you to attack with a character and then use this card to move it to the back row, where it can be preserved for future turns of attacking, or to move a back row character, such as a Brainstorm, into the back row, where it can then use its abilities for the rest of the game. This ability profile gives a lot of flexibility in your early game plays, allowing you to potentially use back row characters as attackers, and also allows you to play more aggressively early without losing as many cards. This Sakura Clean Cut also has a Resonance ability of gaining 1500 power and plus 1 level by revealing a Secure in hand at the start of the climax phase, allowing it to go up to 3500 power and significantly widening the range of cards that it can defeat in order to activate its ability. The second card is a 3-2 early play Sakura. You can play it out early if you have two or less climaxes in the waiting room, and she heals on play. At the start of either player's climax phase, if you have two or more copies of Secure in your waiting room, she gets plus 1000 power and becomes a free runner until end of turn, allowing her to run away from being defeated in battle or playing around anti-change suiciders. 
However, her early play condition and her runner condition kind of contradict each other, since you will likely have just refreshed in order to have two or less climaxes in the waiting room, making it much less likely that you will have two secures in waiting room in order to utilize the runner effect. That being said, if you can get this Sakura to stick around until level 3, or you just play her at level 3 instead of early playing her, she can potentially use her runner ability to get away from your opponent's on reverse finishers. Lastly for today's video, we'll be looking at cards that support the secure strategy, by either salvaging or searching copies of secure to use, or putting it straight into the waiting room for cards like the blue 1 0 Sakura or 3 2 early play Sakura. First, we have this yellow 0 0 Sakura. When placed on stage from hand, you can clock any card from your hand to search your deck for secure and add that to hand, and also this card gets plus 1000 until end of turn. This can set up your early game quite nicely, since the ability itself costs no stock, so you can use that unpaid stock for a card like the 0 0 Resonance Sakura to top check 3 and get a plus 1. It can also be used to accelerate yourself to level 1 in case you want to start using Climax combos. If you can accelerate yourself to level 1 and use a combo like the Red Standby, you can potentially get free reverses on your opponent's level 0s and gain a lot of advantage. Secondly, we have the Green 0 0 Sakura. When placed on stage from hand, you can discard one card to salvage a secure from Waiting Room. Apart from getting secure into your hand to activate effects like Resonance Sakura or giving the Red 1 0 combo extra power with its resonance, this ability essentially allows you to convert her on play ability into any of the secure's ability. If you use her ability on play, discard one, salvage like a red secure, then you can immediately use that red secure and you've essentially converted her on play ability into discard one, draw one. If you salvage a yellow secure, you're essentially converting her into a on play, pay one, discard one, search one, and also give one of your characters 1k in twin drive until the end of the opponent's turn. This kind of conversion isn't really applicable for the yellow Sakura, since you have to clock yourself in order to get the search from deck. Additionally, this Sakura has on attack, you may mill one, and if the milled card was a climax, draw one card and discard one card, giving further hand filter potential and incidental mill should you need to go through your deck a little bit faster. The final card we're going to be looking at today is the blue 0, zero Sakura. When placed on stage from hand, you may search your deck for a secure and send it straight to waiting room. This is useful for decks running the blue one zero combo, since it requires a secure in a waiting room in order to gain power at the start of attack phase. Speaking of the blue one zero, this card also changes into it. At the start of your climax phase, you can discard one card and send this to waiting room to change into the one zero combo from your waiting room. It's quite an interesting combination, allowing you to put a one zero six k effectively onto the board at level zero. But you're taking a minus one to do this, so you'll need to find some way to get back that lost card. If changing into the 1-0 allows you to perform one more instance of the Climax combo than you would normally be able to, that's an easy way to make up that lost card, as long as the combo doesn't whiff. And that concludes this video on Card Capture Sakura. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll be posting a couple more videos on Sakura soon, so look out for those. Thanks for watching everyone, until next time, this has been Shizukats. Bye!